is Jazz, and today I'm here with legendary Wu Chain Clan member, the RZA. What's up with the feedback? Black, we don't need that. It's 10 o'clock, ho. Where the f just see that? Mr. RZA, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm feeling great. Happy to see you. Hey, it's great to see you as well, and I'm really excited for this interview. Are you excited? I'm super excited. <laughs> well, let's get started. So why was it so important for you to develop Wu-Tang Clan in American Saga? And tell the story behind Wu-Tang's success. It was important because a lot of young people are going to pass through the same path that we've gone through in our industry. And the Wu-Tang and American Saga is like a map. So anybody could use it and find their way to success if they pay attention to a lot of the details. Ryan, you guys are definitely legends, and I feel like it's extremely important for fans to really understand like the blood, sweat, and tears that go into you guys' success. And nothing good it comes easy, guys, and it's important to remember that. Man, she, you said it perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and also, you know, even if something bad happens on the way, wipe your boots off, get back up, and go again. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so. That's very important. Indeed. So, rumor has it that it cost $300 to record your first single, Protect Your Neck. And you paid for the studio time in quarters as well. So, <laughs> is that true? Because I really want to know. Well, that, that story is a little bit exaggerated. But yes, the session cost about $300, but we didn't pay in quarters. We had, we had bills, okay? We All had right. dollar bills. <laughs> If you did pay in quarters, I wouldn't, I'll be honest with you, I understand the struggle though because before I used to go to the bodega with only pennies and I'll buy myself a couple pieces of candy and stuff like that, so I definitely could understand that. Wait, so, do you, so do you remember, well when I was young, right, the New York City bus didn't take pennies and all I had was pennies and I would get on and try to pit in, you know, five pennies because I had a bus pass and no pennies, I had to walk to school. Wow. But now, I got a chauffeur. <laughs> right. Hey, before, did you try to put them all at the same time? Because I know some kids at my school that like put them all at the same time. Right. So, so, yeah, and try to like right. cheat it so you can't count it too quick, right? Right. <laughs> yes, New York. Well, I know that you're a big chess fan. So how is it helpful to your creative process? And how do you think playing chess can help improve young minds? Well, chess is a very analytical game. Um, I think chess is something that should be taught in schools, along with music, of course, and art. Chess is an art. If you can understand how to analyze things, how to think ahead, then you could avoid a lot of trouble. Because if you look at a lot of us, especially you know a lot of young minds, we are spontaneously reacting. We don't meditate and think about the actions before we do them. I think crime will slow down because the, the, of a young mind could think, wait, if I do this, that can happen. Um, and chess is, that, is the game that prepares you to think analytically. I can agree with that because, one, in uh, elementary school and third grade, I learned how to play chess. See? And I loved it. I loved the time that I spent going against kids. Right. I'll be honest with you, I'm not that good, but I'm pretty good. I, I, could, be, I could be a couple kids. Well, the good thing about it is that you could lose in chess and nobody gets hurt. Right. You know? It's all about learning. Exactly, exactly. You're doing well. Now I'm so impressed talking to you. i got to honestly let you know that I'm impressed. Thank you so much. <laughs> what are your thoughts about the change in the hip-hop genre from when Wu-Tang Clan came out until now? It still has the foundation and it, it keeps expanding. The beautiful thing about hip-hop is that it's been able to feed families first on the East Coast, then to the West Coast, the South, the Midwest, now across seas, and now you got the Afro beat. And, and, and this music and this culture is energizing the world, feeding families all around the world. And I'm proud to be one of the you know, pillars that help push it across the world, you know what I mean? Yes. And I only see it going further. If people come out of here, come here from Mars, they're gonna be rocking the hip hop. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I love 36 Chambers. My dad and my mom showed me you guys' music. Fire. And I'm gonna be honest with you, with you it's fire. Like, <laughs> it's fire. I like the new generation's hip-hop music, like Lil Uzi Vert, yeah. Cardi B, all of them, because I feel like they're all very unique in their own ways. But if they learned from Wu-Tang Clan, I felt like <laughs> new generation's music would have been kind of different. Well, they still got time, you know what I mean, to pick up some kung fu techniques from the Wu, all right? We've made music for the people, and now we've made a TV show for them so that you can look at it. And look, you know, when you grow in, you're going to have many things you're going to come across. Take what you need and leave what you don't need, but always try to improve yourself. 
Thank you so much for those wise words. Thank you. All right, Mr. Rizza. So the question tonight is, is Wu-Tang really for the kids? Wu-Tang is for the children. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And I also asked Method Man the same question, and he told me that in his words, Wu-Tang Clan is definitely for the kids. Is Wu-Tang really for kids? Well, out of all the people that stopped me today, you were the only one that got my attention enough to stop me for an interview. So I think that answers your question. Wu-Tang is definitely for the kids. All right. Exactly. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Well, guys, I'm here Mr. Rizzo, and we're having a great time. So until next time, jazzing out. Peace.